Let's now add a circle. Once again, click and drag to create it. And then you can choose to enter a dimension. If we add another circle, you will see that the software will indicate when the two circles are the same diameter, allowing you to choose that size. Press Escape to end sketching, or just go to Select Mode. Now we'll create a rectangle. Notice how a guideline is offered to allow you to create a square if you wish. As before, you can drag the rectangle to size, or you can type and tab to enter dimensions. Don't worry about overlaying one line with another. This won't cause a problem. If we now add a similar rectangle on the other side of the sketch, you will see that the software indicates when the two shapes are the same height. This can be helpful for accurate sketching.